than a cave. Anyway, for a long time it was just me and my sister. Just a couple of kids stealing what we could to survive. Until we met Felix. We tried to nab his wallet. Not only did he stop us, he showed us how to do it better. We've been working together ever since. This is taking too long. She's waiting. This latest scam was our biggest yet. The one that would set us up for life. That sounds familiar. What can I say? A lot of these stories start out the same way. Fiona, relax. There's nothing to be nervous about. <laughs> There. That looks good. If Augustus' offense worth his cut, he'll be selling it to some Hyperion stooge. It should be good enough to fool one of them. Not too many people have seen a Vault Key, real or otherwise. The paint may still be wet. Be sure not to let anyone touch it. There are only a couple spots to worry about, but it's best not to risk it, so have them keep their hands to themselves. Do you think this will work? If I didn't, we wouldn't be doing it. Hey, you're a pro. This is what you do. Your sister may have brought in the mark, but you're the one that'll close the deal by playing whatever role you need to, to get the job done. If she introduces you as a tiny psycho, you'll squat down and scream about poop trains. Okay? That first introduction is who you are. You two have to work together. You can count on me, Felix. I know. It's just nice to hear it out loud sometimes. Showtime. Fiona, when she gives you your role, you play it as best you can. The deal came together much faster than I'm comfortable with, but it's worth the risk. So it's best to take precautions against the unforeseen. The Purple Skag is not the type of place you walk into without a backup plan. What's that for? It's only for emergencies. One bullet. That's right. You'll always be able to talk your way out of more situations than you can shoot your way out of. Wet paint. No touch. Emergency only. I got it. It all out, I guess. <laughs> oh. Figures. Point, where art and culture flourish. All right, all right, enough of the stabbing. Piss off.
Felix didn't mention anything about a bouncer. Sorry, no one's getting in here today, pretty lady. VIP's on. Private function. There's the Firestone Tavern down the road. If you really need a drink, they'll take care of you. Why do you care? I mean, does this really matter? Of course it matters. It's my job. I ain't letting no one in there what's not supposed to be in there. Yeah. Whoa, no, no. Look at me and look at you. You ain't just pushing your way past me. No, ma'am. That ain't gonna happen. Wait a second. That's you there. Your face is on that paper with that writing on it. What's that about, huh? What's them words say? And don't you lie and go taking advantage of me. That's the VIP list, and I'm on it. They probably put a picture to make it easier on you. Well, that's a short list. I'm that important. Uh, I don't know. Out of the way, Tector. She's the VIP we've been waiting for. Dang, Sasha, why didn't you tell me she was with you? So sorry, ma'am. Huh, can't believe that worked. I can't either. August is with someone else, so we got a second. He has some trust issues. He keeps asking about you, so I'm just gonna tell you everything I told him. It's a lot. Great. So, here's the setup. You're Lydia Strauss. We're old friends, you're an archaeologist that stole the vault key from a dig site on Eden 6. But you're originally from Eden 5. You contacted me and we met at Pyropedes just after Mercenaries Day to talk about the deal. Then I set you up with August, you provide the key, August and I go make the deal, then we split the money three ways. The rest of it, you're just gonna have to improvise. Did you get all that? I told you. It's a lot, I know. Yes, yeah, Sasha, I got it. This isn't my first rodeo. Good. Good. That's a uh, relief. <laughs> Tommy, come on. How far do we go back? I've known your family a real long time, August. <laughs> That's right. Which is why this is all gonna work out. You say hi to the missus. Okay. Will do, August. <laughs> Buddy. Doctor! Yeah, boss? Make sure Tommy gets home all right. Thanks again. August? Hey, August. This is... Oh, hey. Sasha tells me you've got something really cool to show me. <laughs> it's Lydia, right? Strauss? Sasha's told me a lot about you. She ensures me you can be trusted. That's me, Lydia Strauss. Sorry about the delay. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. No! No! Please help me! Help me! Help me! You are. <laughs> the little bastard had a Molly Wong shield on. Shocked me real good. Sorry about the mess, boss. Won't happen again. Well, that was exciting. And bring us over a couple drinks, then start mopping up that blood. I don't want to have to get the floors redone. Sure thing, babe. Let's get to business. Skip out on his tab? Yeah, something like that.
Your business deals always go like that? He said he'd do something, then he didn't. I don't abide dishonest people. Have a seat. So, how long have you been an archaeologist? Fascinating work. Getting out there in the dirt, uncovering priceless artifacts. Long enough to find a vault key. <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems like the perfect amount of time. That's interesting. Hey, where'd you say you found this again? Refresh my memory. Sasha mentioned it was one of the Edens. I found it on Eden 6, at a dig site there. Right, Eden 6. Marcus is always talking about that place, says it's really nice. It's nice when you find a vault key there. <laughs> <laughs> it most certainly is. Thanks, huh? All right. Let's have a look. Of course. It's not yours yet, August. Your friend here is making me nervous. She's helping you out, August. How do you figure? You never heard of iridium poisoning? Can't say I have. Well, she's saving you from a couple of hours of puking your guts out. Ah. Huh. Well, then, thanks for that. But just say something sooner next time. I'll call up Vasquez. He's been chomping at the bit for this thing. Vasquez, it's August. Are you buying this vault key or what? Cause I... Hey, wait, do you have me on speaker? Seriously? No, look, I don't even know what obstinate means, man. What I know is I gotta move this thing right now. I know what obstinate means. These Hyperion guys get uncomfortable around people that sound too competent. Expect a nervous small-time Pandoran fuck, so I give them what they want. No, man, this thing is hot. I, I got an office, so if you want it, you gotta get down here. No, we'll, we'll be there soon. That ain't good enough, buddy boy. Can we get more money out of them? It is a vault key. I tried already. Ten million is the most they could bring in cash. I'm not one for a paper trail. Can't blame a girl for trying. Look, let me make it crystal clear. I want ten million dollars. That's right. We'll be waiting for you. Yeah? You say hi to your... He hung up. All right. Sasha will hold the key, since it's clear you don't trust me alone with it. And seeing as I just had a guy killed in front of you, I'm not even offended. Bring your gun, babe. Got it. So that's it? She'll let you know when it's done, where to get your money. Let's go. We'll follow in the caravan. We're in position. Let us know when they arrive. I have to say, I was surprised when your friend grabbed my hand like that. Oh, yeah, sorry. She's a little possessive. That's funny, considering she stole it in the first place. It worked out. Sure, if you consider grabbing the hand of a murderous psychopath working out, I suppose it did. <laughs> Still is, actually, because he's definitely not dead. All right. The place itself. We're on. What happened? You get stuck in traffic? Yeah. Well, sorry we're late. Getting here was a little more complicated than we thought it'd be. Yeah, well, that's Pandora for you. If it ain't a freaking bug stampede, some jerk off is using you for rocket practice. All right. Well, <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. I'm August. But I figure you know that already. He's, uh. 
Is Vasquez coming? There are two guys here, but neither of them are Vasquez. He may have sent some lackeys. Didn't want to get his hands dirty. Oh, damn it. One of them has an echo eye implant. If he scans the key, he'll know it's a fake. They're still talking, but there's no way they're not gonna scan it. Unless they're complete morons. I have to go in. She needs Hold help. Hold on, wait. I have something you can take with you. There's a small EMP device in the chest over there. Grab it for me while I assemble a detonator. Ah, uh, what? Ah, oh, come on. How do you find anything in here? It's about palm-sized and has a small circuit board sticking out of it. It's this one here. Here. This will generate a low-level electromagnetic pulse. That should be enough to scramble his system. But you need it close to the key. Sasha, on my signal, you need to get the case over to the vent behind you. How the hell do I do that? I don't know. Figure it out. There's a ventilation shaft in the back that'll give you access. Once you're in, I'll talk you through. Stay in the shadows. The walls are paper thin. Don't be seen. Don't be heard. Go! Hurry! I can see him. We don't have long. How do I get inside? There should be an air hook that leads to the room they're in. Find it. That's where you'll take your position. Right. On it. Closed. <laughs> you scared the crap out of me. What? Where are my manners? Come in, come in. <laughs> There's plenty of room. I'm Shade. Pleasure to meet you. I know it's hard to trust, but I'm a people person. Uh, I'm Fiona. Oh, delighted. Sometimes you want to talk to someone not decomposing. <laughs> know what I mean? Sure. Just get out of there. I need to get through. I gotta go. We were having such a nice chat. You ever see anything so pretty in your miserable lives? Fiona, are you in place yet? 